Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. I don't know if you saw my first video. I will link it above that talks about five reasons why New Zealand may not be right for you. But today I'm going to do a part two and talk about some more reasons why New Zealand may not be right for you and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So stay tuned, here we go. This video is sponsored by Bitrix24. Okay, first off, if you are one of those people that rather work than play, New Zealand may not be the place for you. Yes, they like require you here to take a holiday, like to take the four weeks. And you get four weeks, whether you're a part-time, uh, a full-time person, it's amazing, uh, but it might not be right for you. If you're like this workaholic, like, uh, you know, like get it done, get it done, never take a break, New Zealand may not be right for you. Or if you think that you have to use holiday for when you're sick. So in New Zealand, you get holidays and sick days and they're separate. So if you would just prefer to use your vacation days as your sick days, then New Zealand may not be right for you. Second thought is if you just think that socialized healthcare doesn't make sense, that you just prefer to pay enormous amounts of money for your healthcare because you know then you can pick what you want and you want a lot of freedom around that, New Zealand might not be right for you. Yes, if you just want to be able to, and you just feel like you know you don't, you get what you pay for kind of thing, and that you really want to be able to pay enormous amounts of money for your health care, um, even though, you know, a lot of things happen to you that are beyond your control, then New Zealand may not be right for you because in New Zealand, the health care is uh, covered. You can also get insurance if you want uh, in addition to the health care. But yeah, and obviously we all pay for it through our taxes and things like it, technically free. But if you really have an issue with like socialized healthcare, as some people will say it, or just feeling that healthcare just um, should come at a cost. Whereas in New Zealand, they feel that it's a, it's kind of a right for somebody. Like if you get sick, you shouldn't like go bankrupt. Or if you have a baby, you shouldn't go bankrupt. Or, you know, these are the concepts that they think about here in New Zealand. So if you disagree with that, New Zealand's not the place for you. Third thought, if you are uncomfortable with not tipping, I mean, you can tip here in New Zealand, but it's just not a normal um, that you don't need to basically like you kind of do in the US. But if you feel like you would prefer to pay for a certain type of service uh, that there shouldn't be like just, you know, fair wages across the board for waiters and waitresses and, uh, you know, people in hospitality, then New Zealand may not be right for you because you don't really need to tip. Uh, people get a living wage as a waiter or waitress. In fact, people in New Zealand I have found are quite uncomfortable with the tipping concept uh, on other places, specifically the U.S., because they don't know how to tip or they don't realize, you know, how little they make unless you do tip. And like, it's, it's a little bit stressful where they just feel like everybody should be paid for their time. And so if you kind of disagree with that concept, if you really prefer the tipping program and like, you know, you have to do a really good good job at what you're doing in order to, to make any money or to make a good tip, then New Zealand isn't the place for you. Have you ever heard of Bitrix24? Well, I had it until they started to solve all my problems. Yes, they are an online platform that has a collaboration tool, a project management tool, and a CRM all in one place. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm currently running three or four companies, I can't even remember, with multiple different owners. And so when I start the day, I have no idea where to start. I have so many things going on. I don't know what's priority. And so Bitrix24 has let me put everything into one platform. So I have separate working groups for each one of my companies and I have different people in each one. And so it's so great because I can online chat with them, video chat with them, set up our plan for the week, for the year, for the month, whatever, um, assign tasks, and it's all in one place. I can also put in all my emails in there. I can put, I can do social, I can do my marketing in there. You guys, Bitrix24 is amazing. You should check it out and they have an amazing free version of it. And so go check it out today. Some of the best features on Bitrix24 is their project management 
software and abilities and their Kanban abilities. And I just, everything is organized in it at a glance. I can see on a Gantt chart where I'm at, what project I need to focus on, what am I a little bit behind on? And it just kind of alerts me and it's just so easy to use. Sometimes there's software where you have to like learn it and it's painful and it takes you forever. This did not take me forever. I got set up, I was doing it and I loved it. And I just put everything in one place and it was so user friendly, it was great. I highly recommend that you try Bitrix 24 today. There is an amazing free version that I've been able to do almost everything on the platform and there's so much more to the platform. I can literally add so many things. Try it today. I'll put a link in the description. Go check it out. And my fourth thought, if you really think that in order to get a good education you need to pay an enormous amount of money for university then New Zealand isn't the place for you. There is a lot of programs at universities right now that you can get for free. Your first year at university is free right now uh, in New Zealand. And yeah, it's not that expensive to go to university here in New Zealand. It's actually quite reasonable, uh, but it all depends on what your major is. So, but if you just think that, you know, it's just, my kid just really needs to pay 50 to $100,000 a year to get a good education, then, New Zealand's not for you. And number five, my last thought is if you just really enjoy US tax law and doing your taxes every year, like the enormous amount of paperwork and details that that entails, then New Zealand isn't right for you. I mean, they're to a point now where it's automatically done for you and then you can just add in, you know, if you have charities or extra businesses, but Otherwise it's done for you <laughs> and it takes literally no time. And they actually only take out the money from your uh, account that they actually think you deserve to owe for taxes, not more than enough to then tell you that, oh, you're gonna get a tax return uh, at the end of the year and make you feel like you're getting some money from the government back when it was really your money to begin with. So maybe think about that for a minute, but yeah. So if you just love doing a lot of taxes, like, like thinking about complicated tax law, New Zealand might not be the right place for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed my my, <laughs> my video this week. It was a little tongue in cheek and talking about some of the really great things about New Zealand and you know what it might not look like if someone didn't appreciate those things. And don't forget to check out Bitrix24 today. They have an amazing CRM platform and an amazing free plan. So check it out. I put the link in my description below. So if you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved to New Zealand and have lived here. Uh, for five years, we're Americans, and we just kind of are sharing our, our journey and kind of what we've learned uh, coming here and just kind of our reflections on our personal experiences here. So if you like that, subscribe below. I'd love to have you along every week, and I'll uh, see you next week.